real early right now. It's like 7 a.m. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Oh! I find some shoes real quick because we're getting ready to go play with the dogs. I'm kind of weird with a fucking dog bar. I really don't know. I'm too tired to decide. I might just grab a box and go. Like, what is this? One point now. Let's do it. Works for me. No, oh, well, we're gonna go in just a second. Hey, yeah, no, it's a little ridiculous. I almost forgot that I had it on. Like, I forget that I do it. have it on. I wake up this morning and I look in the mirror. I'm like, Jesus, what the fuck is wrong with me? You look like a fucking retired cop. <laughs> you forget you it. Look, it's so yeah, fucking weird. Yeah, like, you just got kicked off a big case. How come you rather the front? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> you okay? Cinnamon! <laughs> Oh my. Steady! <laughs> Sorry, bud, I know. I like your mustache. <laughs> oh. And Russ will take care of the greeting. Yeah, I know. Hey! 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 For the Yeezy hoodie, do you want? Uh. Do you talk shit on Twitter? And I won't come to your doggy daycare and train all your dogs? That's right. I think it's in here. <laughs> Land title company, $150. What is this? This is a scam. Oh, $1120. Oh, well, you didn't see that. Just hand it to the lady at the front of this one, though. I just committed a federal fucking. <laughs> more importantly, dog. We didn't right, hold it. Yeah, hold it. Sorry, I was like, son. Yeah. That's some clickbait right there. I'm a minister. What? This is the damn truth. I know. Somebody else has to check. Okay. Oh my god, I forget what I'm so every time. Look at the elevator, I'm standing there in a Kanye shirt with a fucking... <laughs> Looking like a fucking retired cop. Like a 20 year veteran tro tow truck driver. Oh my god, we gotta get to the antique mall. Buh, 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 lazing, ha, 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 hottie. What are you gonna do when we have a podcast and you can't edit anything? I just say the wildest shit and you're just like, what the fuck? I can't wait. I'm ready for the podcast, dog. I'm ready to sit down and just smoke like four blunts and just talk. And we're here for some antiques. I'm here with, uh, this is my friend, my good friend, Dirty, Dirty Ernest. They call him Dirty Ern because he likes to get dirty re- Vamping these dirty antiques. Don't get the wrong idea. Don't let the stash fool you. We're filming an antique pilot that we're working on for the Disney Channel. <laughs> what do we call our show? Hmm. Show. I think it should be called Getting Dirty. It's Grandfather Clock right here. <laughs> it's mighty dirty. I give it a nine on the dirty earned dirt scale. I feel like her iPhone is gonna fall out of her pocket. Losing that iPhone, girl. My iPhone's gonna be on the road. This right here. Is it really? Look at this dude. Far? Yeah, from the 30s. It's rare. You want to be a sheriff or a chief? That Ralph Lauren jump off. That oh, ain't Ralph the easy though. supply? Yeah. Yeah. I got you something for the like button. Some mash, some mash, some. Hey, he's got their uh, staple yeah, to the bottom. Yeah, they're stapled down, so. Yeah, okay. I can't pull them up. Alright. Yeah. Well, Sorry. Worth a shot. Yeah, no problem. Dang. Oh. <laughs> 
Marlboro jacket? Yeah. It has the cream on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true. It's cream Marlboro. <laughs> Love this jacket. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Blazing hotties. Sure. I ain't got no teeth, motherfucker. I don't want it. It lights up. It lights up, and it's got the Atlas with it. Earn. Give me the fucking world, dog. The world is mine. Hey, look at you and your fucking crazy face. <laughs> I'm gonna get this head. It's just kind of fire. Me trying to figure out what you want for dinner, girl. Uh oh, yeah. You're coming home. 36 bucks. Speaking of Dalmatians. Oh, under one of them, dog. It might be. This thing is fire. I've always wanted a globe. Put it up here, nobody will touch it. You might change mine again. They're Adidas. From who, though? Uh, Chauncey Billups? I, I don't even know who that is. I mean, it's a famous name. Let's get to Fogo, son. I'm starving now. The antique shop is fire. We made an impromptu choice to hit the Fogo lunch. Waiting on these shoes to come in. Waiting on these lights to come in. I gotta get back and start drawing at some point. Saker's gonna kill me. My man is just in the middle. You can't see this, but we're just in the middle of the uh, parking lot. We're fine. Damn. Cheese balls. <laughs> that is uh, cheese balls. Thank you. <laughs> About that. Yeah. Come on, Earl. Something. Thank you. Thank you. Something a fucking addict would say. Does it look like the face of an addict to you? Yes. Looking like a fucking. Retired bowling alley shoe cleaner. What do I even know about? It's Globe Life, something. What the fuck? Huh? Uh oh. Come here, Omar. What did he break loose? Yeah, I need closer. Oh no. What? The shoe has been open. He did nothing. I can't fucking believe it. I left him home, forgot to close the gate, and he didn't destroy anything. Look at boy. Look at you. by the power invested in me. Certified on this. Oh, these are my marriage certificates that I give out. Yeah, you get so many oh, kids. Oh shit. I'm out here certified. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Son, I got the card. I got to put that in the motherfucking go-yard. My credentials of ministry. As of the 17th of August, 2017, I am marrying motherfucker. So if you need to get married, holler. I got two already this year. So I have to fill one of these out every, oh, I gotta read my handbook probably, see what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> All right, so now we're waiting on UPS. We're chilling. Should grind up some weed. Grind up some weed, fam. Omar. Still in the same exact spot. I got some shoes. Unboxing with Omar. Get it, Omar. Get it, Omar. <laughs> oh shit! Look at her with her hipster hat and the glasses. Well, he's underneath. <laughs> All right, bud. We gotta get serious now. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Illuminati confirmed. I'm more in the bag. Because there's a front to this and I don't know how that goes on. Where'd it go? Taking out the trash. Yeah. For those of you who thinks that between drawing and vlogging, there's time. Yeah. Hey. Stock X on this one. Someone 
finally took my bid. I just been up there forever. Nice. I'll be reviewing these later. We have to go do the on feet. Welcome back. All right, so let's retired just... porn actor. Tertier. All right, so oh, busy day. Um, well, it wasn't really that busy. Well, kind of busy. A lot of stuff. There was some leisure involved, but I still have a lot to do after this. So. I have a busy day. Main reason that it's been busy and will be busy the rest of the night is the drop tomorrow. So real quick, drop tomorrow, Saturday, 10 a.m. Hoodies, uh, the skull swoosh is in t-shirts, six different colors, black and white, white and black, black on black, black and red, teal and white, black and 3M. Hoodies in black, burgundy, and green. Kanye t-shirts, black only. Kanye hoodies, black, green, burgundy, and a skullage print. That is $20. One of the Scalage shirts will come with a free print. I don't know which one yet, but one of them will come with free prints. Those are signed and numbered. That's the drop 10 a.m. tomorrow, mountain time. Good luck. Um, but as far as shoes go today, finally, I have basically slept. Oh, we got new lights too. This shit looks sick, huh? Um, lights. These came out pretty much when 3.0, I think this is with one of the first 3.0 drops. 3.0, when they dropped, there was a lot of different pairs and a lot of things going on at once. And I was traveling and it was just kind of a clusterfuck. So I didn't really get these. I wanted them for a long time. Never really like saw them in my size for retail. Put a bid up on StockX forever ago and just all like kept, you know, bids only last like 30 days, but I kept just like redoing the bid. Finally, someone accepted. I think I paid 240, like 253 ship, um, which is re resale but you know generally like if you look on flight club this pairs around 300 400 bucks so uh got a good deal in my opinion but finally 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 um have copped the collegiate burgundy i believe is the official name but i'm gonna call it burgundy uh, ultra boost glad to finally get them in the collection this is what the shoe looks like happens to match my shirt I'm sure you've seen these on other people's channel i know this is one of foamer's favorite shoes i'm sure you've seen them all over but you know might as well give them my little review while we're here we got ourselves a 3.0 ultra boost and this 3.0 fits perfectly this is a size 13 it's nice and baggy and comfortable honestly putting these on uh was a nice reminder of how much i love ultra boost even though i get to put it on every day i've been wearing 1.0s today and sliding a 3.0 on for just a minute you can really feel the difference in comfort it's crazy so 3.0 is still the most comfortable 1.0 probably the most visually appealing you know one thing i realized today about 1.0 that i really ah, one of the main factors of what i love so you can see your socks through the toe box i think that's one of my favorite parts 3.0, it's just a little, you're just trapped in there, you know, there's no light, so. That, but anyway, so 3.0 Ultra Boost, I say true to size, or you can probably even half down if you really want to, especially if you remove the insole. But this bad boy, we have a burgundy upper. It has white and a little bit of a lighter shade of burgundy peppered all in there, it all digitally peppered in. Some people call this the stretch mark pattern. Some people are calling this shoe saying it like ground beef. I guess so, if it was ground beef, it would be very high in fat from all the white. Toe box changes up quite a bit with the white. It's a pretty nice contrast, which gives the shoe just kind of a crazy pattern. And given all the 3.0s we've been getting lately, like the new ones, like the gray ones that just dropped, there's another colorway. There's another colorway that kind of looks like the salmon breezes in the pictures. I'm pretty sure it's olive. These colorways, the first ones, kind of look a little crazy and even more interesting. Like this could probably pass as a collab shoe, honestly if they wanted it to have. Regular TPU cages on this, translucent, burgundy heel cup, silver ultra boost branding, boost of course, continental sole, and then a burgundy torsion system, which also connects to our burgundy plate in the boost. Then yeah, burgundy insole, regular insole, burgundy laces. It's basically all burgundy shoe. Let's just get it, let's just get it over with. Yeah, so you can still find these. They're still around. They're not for retail. I doubt you'll find them for retail, but you can find them for not crazy resale. I think these are a great one. Interesting to see once 3.0 is over with to see what the best colorways are gonna be. I feel like we're kind of reaching the end of 3.0 because one, you're seeing a lot more 4.0 leaks and two, 3.0 is just kind of slowed down. Like there's, like I said, the colors they released this week are just plain. I don't feel like they're really trying to push it really too crazy. It's been kind of a lull for Adidas, I feel like, in the past couple of months. It seems like we're gearing up for some stuff. We'll see. I'm really excited for 4.0, but also really excited to get these in the collection finally and not have to pay an insane amount of money. That is the Burgundy Ultra Boost. And see you guys for the drop. And see you soon. Peace.
looking like a retired carny that just got out of jail. <laughs>